I, I looked into flat earth. I'm, I'm, I'm the mm. type of guy, whenever, whenever I hear about anything, even if it's ludicrous, I'm like, if people believe it, I want to check it out just to see like, what is there, right? And to be honest with you, I was super surprised with flat earth theory. Um, I don't believe in it. Of course, I believe the earth is spherical. No, actually not spherical. I believe it's square and stationary. You can Google it, HH, square and stationary earth. Um, square? But, square, stationary earth. Google it and show it to the people. Um, but the, when, when, when I looked up videos about like uh, flat earthers and I was looking at what they were saying, and a lot of, no, uh, that's, yeah, yeah. So like a lot of people believe HH um, because of so much, lies that people have been fed by their governments by that it's built skepticism right and flat earthers believe that if the earth is flat and it's in a dome that means ultimately it proves that there is a creator right but if mm -hmm. you tell people that you live on a sphere and you're just in an empty space it removes cause and reason you know what no, i mean but, but, but one thing quickly read and mm -hmm. this is just a quick so this is the one question i always ask to people who believe in flat earth. Because again, same thing, I'm not going to just um, completely be like, oh, no, no, you, you don't know what the hell you're saying, blah, blah. I'm like, okay, look, let's have a conversation. Let's have a conversation. Mm -hmm. No, but that's so, the thing. Is like, okay, so my question, my question is this. My question is this, right? If, yeah. as you can see here, if you're saying that the earth is flat, there must be an edge. Edge, edge. So there must be a point as which pilots or so forth reach to the very edge of the earth and if you walk over the edge mm -hmm. so where are the edges because if if it's flat there has to be an end point and an edge well that's the thing so like where is the edge? earthers so like i said i did my a little bit of research on this before this just uh, to talk about it don't worry guys i'm going to show you the square and stationary earth and you guys will, will be believers <laughs> like you guys will be believers like me guys we'll, we'll start our own, we'll start our own community, the square stationary earth community bro but uh what's it called uh the thing is is it's like they it's flat earthers tend to believe that there is no south pole there's a north pole which is like the center of the earth and the edge of the earth is just not there and if you actually look up like it is illegal for regular people to go to the South Pole. You're not mm -hmm. allowed. You can't. You can't go to the poles. Like even if you were to have the money and you want to fly out there and go there, you have all the equipment, you're not allowed. So that's why it causes a lot of skepticism. Again, I believe that these ridiculous theories are all stem from lies. When you're lied to for so long, when you're when you're constantly misled by governments, and like especially because like there's a lot of government op operations that happen but, 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 like behind but, but, the scenes. It did answer my question though. Yeah. As in like. How do the flat earthers respond to edges? That if the earth is flat, you have to reach an edge. Can you can you guys see my screen? Sorry, I I, I shared oh. it. Is it should, oh, shoot. okay. One second. That is a square and stationary earth. You guys see that? That's that's that. that. So is square. So. You're saying that this whole diagram is what the Earth is. That's what the Earth looks like. We're just we're just like in a, in a little Beyblade bowl. That's all it is. <laughs> what the f <laughs> Red? What have you been smoking about? No, 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 no. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Like, well, because you remember when you said me like you're like yo, this is what we're gonna be talking about. So I started like looking. I started looking this stuff up. I'm not even kidding. Hh, some of the stuff that I found was hilarious. Like this, this is one of them. Like I don't, I'll be, guys. I'm just joking. I don't believe this. <laughs> But like I just thought it was pretty funny when I saw it. I'm like, like and you'd be surprised. Some people believe this garbage. Like, so like I don't want to disrespect some religions because like I I I, mm. I grow I I'm close to a native reserve here where in my city, like natives, like Native Americans, mm. um, and they believe in in uh, in in like this turtle god who harbors earth on his back now obviously this is just one of many native american tribes right yeah but they do believe that and like some of them believe that too um <laughs> i'm not high guys i'm actually joking it's just it's no joke. no no, 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 no. Thank <laughs> god on. you were joking because i was, was saying no red it's tick put the pipe down put no, that like, pipe down but, see, but it's, this is the bizarreness of the on the internet anything can make you can say some anything. absurd shit everything which is why i'm i keep on and i'm sure that if there's if there are any africans here specifically in nigerians here you know what i'm talking about mm. i'm trying to get my mom off the internet absolutely what's up because what's my mom dangerous? sends me everything i try to tell my mom that it's the internet not everything is real and not everyone and, and not everything leads to death that you say on the internet, because on the internet, you see, the beauty about the internet is, I, told, I think we even discussed this like a few episodes ago. Mm -hmm. The plus side is you can easily now access information. So you don't have to go to a library, get a library card, go through books, go through a whole set thing. 
It's like Google type a few things and the information is there. Now, the bad thing about it is that there's so much information that there's a lot of misinformation. Yeah. So how do you sift through what is real and what is BS? And that is the difficulty. And I think we spoke this on the we spoke about this in the first episode that there's two ways of censorship. They can either censor you by stopping you from talking, like by just cutting off all, all information, or they censor you by overloading so much information to, to make it hard for people to find the real stuff. Yeah. yeah. Right. And, and and that's that's where this comes from. Like, like I said, like I, w- what I believe, like honestly, when I by, by when I go into so, like, at, what do you hmm. believe? Do you believe in flat Earth or you do not believe in flat Earth? Like where are you? I believe I believe in a round Earth. I Thanks, absolutely man. believe in it. No, I believe in a <laughs> like H H H. The thing is, if you know, if you study physics, if you if you study like basic basic science, you you understand how everything like almost works in our, in our in our, in our yeah. like in, no, no, in, no, no, in our no, universe. But, but 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 see, right? Put physics to one side. You see, my hmm. thing is. Let's talk to the guy who didn't go to school. Let's talk to the guy that who didn't who, who didn't take physics and everything. Let's put science to one side. Let's talk logic. Hence, why I say, see, mm. if you bring in gravity and spheres and so forth, then it could be hard for somebody who didn't go to school. Again, not dissing anyone. You didn't go yep. to school. Let's now deal on just pure logic and common sense. Yep. You believe in flat earth. That means things is this flat. So mm. um, that means there's an edge. Yeah. So that means that. Surely there must be a place on Earth where they are at the very end and it's an edge. <laughs> I mean, why about, does that it exist? Just, it just, imagine if like a meteor comes and hits the edge of the edge, uh, like the edge of the edge, and it just like flips over and we all just die. Like that makes no sense. Like, like, like because like it, it, I really don't understand how they could possibly because like how you can actually find out like you can actually study. I think it was name was was it Galileo that discovered that the Earth was round. I think oh, yeah, it yeah. was. Mm. So what he did, H H like his experiment, we could all you guys could all just do this at home. Get yourself a bowl, like a circular bowl, like a fish bowl, put inside it a fish, fill it up with water, and then stand and rotate it. Right? The fish will say stationary as you are rotating the earth, right? As you are rotating the bowl. It, it, it's simple. Like oh, I, I don't wait, 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 wait. Can it... If the earth was a globe, then pilots would require deep deeping the nose of the plane constantly, which never happens. What do you mean, like, as in, like, they have to keep constantly pull up and, like, keep have it going down? But see, see, uh, polar. See, 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 this is just, see, this is where physics comes from because I think you are viewing it in a very literal sense. Oh, like, that, oh, it's, it's, basically, you're viewing it in a literal sense in the sense of, oh, it's a circle. There's an object here. So if the object is going through, then you have to dip down. But the fact is that things are constantly moving. Yep. And not only that, it's, it's, so it is massive. The earth is massive. So like maybe like yes, you're, when you're looking at it, at, 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 like if you bring a soccer ball and you're like, okay, well, an yeah. ant, like no, but the ant is way bigger than a plane is to that soccer ball or like what yeah. the plane is to the earth. Like you need to, you need, it's so big that you, you, you like, it's going to seem flat to us. But if you are on that high altitude, when you're in a plane, just open up your window and try to look at the horizon. You'll see it ends up cutting off. That's because it's curving around. It's because the, the, as human beings, we have to understand like we have our, our mental limitations. We can't even comprehend. Your mind can't even comprehend more than 150 people at a time. You can yeah. like like in, in your in your conscious uh, state, like you can't really remember more than 150 people. So. No, but it's, it's, okay, look, let's try and get into the mind of the flat earth guy mm-hmm. because I can understand where they where they are coming from. Is if let's say you don't believe the government, you don't believe what you've been told, and you want to question, which is good. It's always mm. good to, to question. So the flat earth guy, they're like, wait a minute. I'm walking like this, and everything is flat. Mm. And the way I'm walking, everything is flat. There is nothing spherical about the world I'm living in, which is true. Mm. If we just view it, there's nothing spherical about how we operate within, within the world. But the answer to that is, you see, you, you can't have your cake and eat it. So, the, so if you say the earth is flat... You have to show to me where the edge of the world is. You have to. If mm-hmm. it is flat, you've got to show me where this is where there, there has to be an, an end point. You see, a, a plane, let's say a plane had un, unlimited um, um, petrol. Yep. If it's unlimited petrol, a plane could just keep on flying for all time. Yep. Because it's a sphere. Now, if it was flat, well, let me, um, if it was flat, the plane would now reach here, then <laughs> it goes off the like, edge. Yeah, yeah. Like it, it, it. So so my thing is that you if you're a flat earth theorist, you have to show me evidence of where the edge of the earth is and where the two edges of for, where the edges of the earth are. You have to show it. And if you can't show it to me, 
then no, your flat Earth and theory d- doesn't work. But see, it's just what interests me about flat Earth theory is like I want I want to know like what what I wanted to know is not about the theory itself because I think the theory is ridiculous. I want to know what makes people believe in it, and it's skepticism. It's skeptic. They believe HH is that a flat Earth is proof of God, right? It, the flat Earth is proof that God created this Earth, and we're here for a purpose, right? And if you, mm-hmm. but if you, and, and like I, this is, I watched a video of a guy. He's explaining it. Like he, he was being asked. He was he was interviewed, and he was explaining. He was saying like uh, a flat Earth is proof of God uh, because if you put it, if you tell people that they're on a sphere and it's all random, it's all just the Big Bang. This happened. Evolution. It it tells people that there is no ultimate creator. We're just random. There's no. It's easy to control people that way because there's no purpose. But if you tell people that it's flat, then there is purpose, and then it's harder to control people. That is it. So when I realized that, I'm like, bro, these people are just hyper skeptics. This, these are people who smoke too much weed and got way too paranoid. And like, it just doesn't make like, it can't, it can't like because if you do, you can. There's so many experiments that you could do from home, like with with literally no equipment that you could find that like you can find out yourself that the Earth is 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 round. Like, it's not it's not like really hard. It's just that. You know what it is, HH? I feel like the internet, that's that's the is the biggest problem. Is like anything you could we could like the square and stationary earth. We were laughing about it, but I guarantee you, if I start a YouTube channel and I'm just mm. consistent, right? For like a year straight, two years straight, I'm just uploading videos. I start a Facebook group, I start recruiting people and just going after the government, going after certain groups. There are people that are gonna just wanna agree with me and they'll join my cause just because I'm the enemy of my enemy is my friend. And <laughs> no, they'll start no, believing I, it. That's what I'm with flat earth. And, and I think as well, it, it goes to the points you make with regards to people need like a creator needs to believe that they're the sense, sense of the earth. A lot of people find it very hard to accept the fact that we are just the third rock from the sun. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, and, and I, th- I think I forgot what it was. I think, yeah, I was watching a podcast but when someone said that, you know, that um, we, I think, is we used to be Venus, or this mm-hmm. earth used to be Venus. Because I think Venus, I think, is just a bit too far away. So this literally is the right amount of distance for life yep. to exist. So people find it hard to believe that, no, we have just this third rock amongst mm-hmm. many, several rocks within this solar system. So once you now tell guys, I know we're a sphere, just like that sphere next to us, just like that sphere over there, and we're not that special, People find it hard to accept because people want to believe that we are special. But you and know, once you not tell people that you're not special, then people are like, "No, I, I, I refuse to accept that." But H H, so, we are special. Like the the thing is, is people don't understand how insanely rare no, 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 it no, is but, to have to have one second to have the circumstances that maintain our survival. Like the Earth is set up in the perfect distance from the sun where it, it gives us enough warmth for us to survive. And it's enough distance for where it doesn't kill us from the, from the heat. You know what I mean? And at the same time, we have the perfect moon that comes around and maintains our certain gravity. Like this, like the, if we, within our, within our seen galaxy, we have not found a single planet that can harvest life like the earth can. Like the, we've, we're already lottery winners. The fact that we exist on this planet and we were able to evolve and get to this point that we're in right now. This is already insanely coincidental and insanely, the probability for it is very, 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 very low. That's why scientists to this day, they, they keep looking out into space. We can't even find planets that are close. They find some planets and be like, okay, this is a possibility, but nothing that's actually conclusive. That be like, okay, this is a planet that we could actually mm. migrate to and it could actually give us can maintain human life. In reality, like Earth, we're already we already hit the jackpot. We already hit the lottery. No, no, but, but, but I, th- I think I think it's we are super special in a scientific sense. But I think people are talking about being special in a religious sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Isn't like like there's just like ultimate proof in, of in, God. No, no. Like I said again, like the fact that I'm talking to you right now and all you guys are now listening to this right now, this is like a trillion to one chance of that happening. Yeah. So the fact that we are right now at this moment in time right now doing this, talking to one another through the internet, that is super, super, super special, you know? That's yep. what now, right now, in, in this in this moment in time, because the, the, the life itself, of life just exists, is, 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 is special. But it's like people want to believe, like back in the day mm-hmm. when we thought that we were the center of the universe mm-hmm. and the earth was flat and all that existed was this, people were like, oh my gosh, we are special. 
you know, God chose us, you know, where we have dominion over the animals, you know, we are here for a reason because we are all that exists. The mm. biggest discovery was the fact that, oh, there are other planets that exist and we're a sphere and we are planets like amongst other planets. And, oh my gosh, we are just one of several trillion gazillion solar systems and galaxies that exist out there. 